diet is an issue that has been neglected for so many years. Uh, I mean, there's so, been so much more concentration on the on the drugs, really, that people should be taking to, to try and sort of get rid of the illness or the disease or the infection or the bacteria. You are what you eat. And food is medicine. And some people have said, uh, you know, if the doctors uh, of today don't become the nutritionists of tomorrow, then the nutritionists of today will be the doctors of tomorrow. Well, we need to have, I mean, we need to have a whole range of vitamins and minerals and enzymes um, just for our everyday functioning, you know, for our bodies to function at 100%. Uh, I mean, we should all be functioning at sort of an optimum level of nutrition. Um, but of course, you know, with, with what's happening today in the environment, etc., it's it, it just isn't happening. Um, so it's very important for people to get this good balance of nutrition going into the system for us to be able to, to, to protect our immune system, really, because our immune system is like the doctor within ourselves. For us to survive, we have to have an active, efficient immune system that's working 24 hours a day because it is defending us against attack from all sorts of things, anything from your, your flu virus in the atmosphere or maybe even a cancer cell. We're actually deficient in eight out of the 13 essential nutrients. So that's a, that's a huge amount to be deficient in. But our bodies are very resilient and we can keep going with those deficiencies for many, many years. And then it's 15, 20 years, maybe sooner than that, then the illness will get us. You may feel fine because you are comparing your feeling to what you've generally always felt like. If I were to offer you something, I might make you feel different, which could be better than you felt before. And the only way you're going to find that out is to try it. Aloe vera, it's been helping mankind for thousands of years. Alexander the Great, Cleopatra and Christopher Columbus all knew of its benefits. And in more recent history, Gandhi, when asked how he still had so much energy in spite of all his fasting, said he drank aloe vera every day. It only grows in hot, dry climates, liking soils rich in minerals, and its one natural enemy is frost. There are over 300 different types of aloe vera, but only five of them are known to be useful to mankind. Of those five, the most potent is aloe barbadensis miller. It's been around for thousands of years, and it's probably been helping mankind for 4,000 years. I'd seen it in the textbooks before, but I didn't realise it was actually on the coat of arms of the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons, actually a picture of the Aloe Barbadensis Miller plant. And what was very interesting was that they actually used it internally and topically, because really the, these days, the actual internal use, everybody seems to think it's a, a new thing, when in fact it's been going for hundreds of years using it internally. It looks like a cactus, but it's actually a succulent. It's a member of the lily family. Um, under the rind of the leaf, you've got a sap system. Underneath that layer of sap is what we call a mucilage layer or a slimy layer. And in it is a very important sugar, a long chain sugar, which we know affects our immune systems. And right in the middle is the inner core or gel, which is uh, the water storage organ of the plant but where it also keeps its vitamins and minerals. There are at least 75 vitamins, minerals. There are saponins, which are soapy substances. There are enzymes, which help your digestion or are anti-inflammatory. There are two different groups of enzymes. You've got antimicrobial agents that'll kill not only bacteria, but yeasts and fungi and viruses. The action of the whole is far greater than the individual actions of the groups of substances. They sort of enhance each other. To guarantee that the benefits reach you in their purest form, Forever Living Products, the world's largest growers of this remarkable plant, produce only the Rolls Royce of aloe vera. Our plants are organically grown to start with. We don't use herbicides or pesticides. Our aloe plants are harvested by hand, so only the most mature leaves are cut off the plant and those leaves are transported very rapidly to the manufacturing plant. They're processed quickly in what's called a cold stabilisation process. 
because a lot of these substances are sensitive substances and if you boil them up you'll destroy their effects. We have to add some stabilizers but they're all from natural sources and then obviously um, we put it in the bottle. But we do this without filtration and without concentration. It is important in any product to make sure that you have a decent amount of aloe vera or it's obviously not going to work. Our main ingredient is stabilized aloe vera gel with da 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 da. You go into some shops and it's da 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 with aloe vera, but a tiny amount. In fact, such a small amount as uh, to make me cast doubt on its efficacy. After two years of research at Oxford University into the properties and uses of aloe, Dr. Peter Atherton is one of the world's acknowledged experts. The areas in which it works, I believe, are fundamentally only two. One is what we call epithelial tissue, anatomically, which, uh, for most people, it's best to think of it as surfaces and membranes. So your biggest epithelium is your skin. But of course, as the skin goes into the mouth, it changes and becomes a mucous membrane, which lines the sinuses, the back of your nose, the throat, then goes down the gullet, lines the stomach and the small bowel, the large bowel, comes out and becomes skin again. It lines the genital tract and it lines the lungs, the bronchi. So if you could think of aloe vera working wherever there is damage to surfaces and membranes. And the second area, due to this long chain polysaccharide sugar, which was in that slimy bit in the leaf, is it works on the immune system as what we call an immunomodulator, which means it's a balancer. In some circumstances, it seems to enhance the immune response, but in other circumstances where the immune response is already too much, it will slow it down. To help us all combat the onslaught of stress, pollution and questionable food quality, Forever Living Products, FLP, has harnessed the power of this exceptional plant in three aloe drinks. One of the fantastic things about aloe vera, because we have it in, like, we take it in a, a liquid form as it, in our drinks, um, it's 100% bioavailable to the body, which means that when we're actually taking the drink in, the dr drink is immediately recognised by the body as being a friendly item, meaning it isn't synthetic, Anything that's synthetic, the body actually sees as an enemy. And it, you take a lot of nutrients to actually break down something that's synthetic. Whereas with something that's bioavailable, like our aloe vera drinking gels, it's totally absorbed into the system. The energy levels are fantastic, phenomenal. When I go climbing, I feel like instead of climbing for an hour, I can do an hour and a half or two hours. Um, when I go mountain biking, I mix 20% of it in with my water. It keeps me rehydrated longer. I, the benefits are amazing. I've just found that my moods um, throughout the day is more even. Um, there are day, times during the days when you feel the grizzly bear coming on and this product, um, since I'm taking it, it's, I don't feel that anymore. I feel alive, bubbly, right throughout the whole day. I was tired, exhausted um, with working as a midwife and um, I didn't think there was anything else I could do Somebody said, try drinking the aloe gel and it might take six or eight weeks before you feel any benefit and within three weeks my energy soared. When the gel goes into the system, it has a cleansing action on the digestive tract. It helps us to have a better absorption of nutrients because if we have a cleaner digestive tract, then the nutrients can be absorbed through the walls of the intestine helping um, your food, which hopefully you're taking as healthy food as possible, to also be absorbed into the system. I recommend it to everybody because everybody that, or virtually everybody that I know that takes aloe vera gel finds it does something for them. In addition to the aloe vera drinking gel, which is pure and naturally stabilised gel from the inner leaf, FLP has created aloe berry nectar with added cranberries and apple. Cranberries have long been known to help with cystitis and some other kidney problems. And for those with a sweeter tooth, there's bits and peaches, developed for children, so they too can gain all the nutritional benefits from chunks of aloe in natural peach juice. Two to four fluid ounces drunk daily on an empty stomach, half in the morning and half in the evening, 
with nothing hot for half an hour before or after will work as a tonic, cleansing your system, topping up your diet and helping your body to help itself. With at least 75 nutrients, vitamins, minerals, enzymes, amino acids, anti-inflammatories and acting as a natural immunomodulator, high quality naturally stabilised aloe in the three unique forever living drinks can help you towards the optimum nutrition that will mean you don't just feel good, you feel great. I drink the berry nectar because I suffer with asthma myself and it's helped a lot with that. I was an IBS sufferer for seven or eight years. Uh, I was Mr Skeptical and uh, said to Claire, who came, the wife, came with the product, said, I'll have to ask my doctor first. He turned around and said, yes, try it. If it's good quality aloe from Forever Living Products, I, thought, I wasn't into health and nutrition at the time. My husband uh, and his family have a whole history of knee problems. Nobody seems to know what it is. It's just the classic dodgy knees, the classic kind of knees start to hurt whenever you start to do lots of, lots of exercise or be on your feet for a long time. And he's actually a guitarist in a band. And when he plays in the band with the heavy guitar strapped to him, he says there's a lot of knee bending going on in time to the music. And typically he'd come off the stage with his knees hurting. And this would carry on because we, we wanted to do running. Uh, we wanted to we run, say, six, maybe seven, seven times a week sometimes. I suffered with irritable bowel syndrome for five years before um, joining FLP and I'd tried everything from the doctors. Um, if anyone ever tells me that um, it tastes disgusting, they should try Slippery Elm, which I was told to take with the doctors. It's absolutely disgusting. I mean, William's seven weeks old today and uh, I saw the health visitor last week because William sleeps from 11 o'clock at night to 8 in the morning. She said, oh, you've got a good amount of nutrients in your milk then. I have osteoarthritis in my feet. Five and a half years ago, I couldn't wear a pair of shoes. My right foot was so swollen. Um, not only was it swollen, it was quite painful. Couldn't wear a pair of shoes. And um, now I wear a pair of shoes that I would have thrown away along with all the others at the time that I was diagnosed. I started drinking the aloe um, after about three weeks. The symptoms started to, uh, to go. Um, I had uh, really, really bad pains in my stomach before that. And it got to a point that I I couldn't even go out some days because it was so bad. And then after about, yeah, three weeks of taking it, I noticed my energy levels had gone up, but uh, the most important thing was the pain had gone. And then three days after he started drinking one of the aloe vera drinks, uh, the bits and peaches one, um, the knee problems, the aches and pains vanished. And within three to four weeks, I had a fantastic relief of symptoms. And within six months, I was virtually symptom free. <laughs> As it acts as a tonic in humans, you get the same effect in the animals. And just like uh, humans, uh, the animals are going the same way, where a lot of humans now eat fast foods, are exposed more to these free radicals and pollutants in the atmosphere, etc. The animal population, particularly when you're looking at things like the horse and the dog and the cat, they're fed a lot on prepared foods now. And those foods have been manufactured. And as soon as you start manufacturing foods, you start releasing more of these free radicals which damage the animals the same way. Plus you want to keep their immunity in peak performance and that can be achieved by using the aloe. You don't get a placebo effect in the animals like you do in humans where you're getting a positive because somebody is so enthusiastic about a product and you really believe them, of course you're getting a positive feeling and there's no doubt that positive feelings in humans does help to make you better. Uh, but in the animals, of course, we just put it in their food. They don't know it's in there, so there cannot be a placebo effect. And most of the horses will take the straight aloe vera gel in their foods, even if you go and put in 200, 250 mils, most horses take it. Some people prefer to give them the cranberry one, the nectar, um, but i found in practice they take the gel just as readily. Dogs aren't too bad, but cats are always very difficult. If you go and put 20 mils of aloe gel into a cat's food or into its milk or water, it will usually leave it straight away. So what we have to do is be cunning with the cats, just like uh, they are cunning themselves. Um, they always find the nice warm spot to lie, don't they, and sleep all the time. And so what we do is we'll put just a few drops, either onto their dried food or into their tin meat that they're having, just a few drops to begin with, and then slowly build that up over a period of 10 days or so. And then you'll find after a while they get to quite like it. If they're really difficult and you can't get it down that way, I much prefer then to actually put a little bit onto the paw, top of their paw. You can even use the jelly for that if you wish. And of course, if you do that, what does the cat do? It licks it off, doesn't it? In 2001, Forever Living Products added a revolutionary drink to their range, Forever Freedom. This drink combines all the benefits of the other aloe vera drinks with four powerful additional ingredients.
It's an aloe-based product and it is designed to help people with a particular kind of arthritis, which is osteoarthritis. And osteoarthritis is the wear and tear arthritis. Most of us, as we get older, will get a little bit of this, but there are certain people who are destined probably to get it more badly, and they are women, those who have indulged in, in, in a lot of sport over their life, and the overweight and possibly even the heavy manual workers. In this country alone, millions of people will go to their doctor this year seeking treatment for osteoarthritis. They'll be prescribed either a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory and painkillers or, in more serious cases, steroid drugs. The benefits of the drugs are that they do relieve symptoms. They are powerful. But the downside is the fact, like a lot of modern powerful drugs, there are potential side effects. And in the case of these drugs, the usual side effect, the nasty one, is to get uh, either erosions or even frank ulcers in the stomach. These ulcers can bleed, they can perforate, and if they do that, they can cause death. And so if you can find something, as I think we have in Forever Freedom, that will reduce people's symptoms when they've got it, because it can be a very painful condition and a very crippling condition, using the natural painkillers and the natural anti-inflammatories in aloe vera gel with basically four other major additives, glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM and vitamin C. Now, these substances are incorporated in order to help the body to repair the damaged cartilage, to i.e. to form new cartilage and also to increase the viscosity or thickness, if you like, of the, um, the fluid within the joint. It's like an engine that uh, needs to have the right quality oil to make it perform properly and to stop the metal parts wearing against each other. But as we get older, apart from anything else, we re our ability to produce new cartilage and to keep this uh, fluid thick and healthy reduces. The product that we're talking about is one way of trying to boost that, i.e. to help the body by giving it the natural ingredients that it needs to form new cartilage. Towards the end of my army career, I was starting to suffer very severe headaches, um, and they sent me for all the usual tests, eyes and, and everything else. Took more x-rays of my neck and found that the arthritis was quite severe, to the point where they put me on to an anti-inflammatory, uh, a very strong anti-inflammatory, which was steroidal-based. Um, for the first eight or nine months, that was fine, and then I started to suffer stomach problems and gullet problems, and within 12 months, it had actually these tablets had done severe damage and I was put onto another drug to counteract the side effects of that and was told then that I'd be on them for life. In my mid-thirties I um, had an accident, horse threw me on the road and I ended up having a long holiday in Stoke Mandeville Hospital and the consultant put me back together again um, and I was in my mid-thirties and the guy was possibly about 50 and um, he said you'll be arthritic as you get older and I thought anything older than 40 looked old, and he looked too old to have any common sense or know anything. And, uh, of course, he was right, and I got to my 50s and became acutely arthritic. And by the August of 96, I was considering having really invasive surgery, you know, the sort of pins driven up through my feet, to my knees, stopping me from running, but no pain. I've been using for Freedom since it came out. And prior to uh, using aloe vera products, um, I used to suffer with the symptom of arthritis in my knees and it used to be very, very painful. And doctor gave me ibuprofen. I used to take 12 ibuprofen a day um, because of the pain. Um, and they said if anything doesn't happen, what they can suggest is take the knee cap off and put a plastic one on. And I was only 20. Started to drink the gel, the aloe gel. The first few months, I didn't really notice a great change, but towards the end of the winter, I thought, well, it's been a mild winter, but my neck's a lot freer. Um, and then a month or two after that, I suddenly realised that I actually felt better than I had done for about 10 years. 
I started to take the drinking gel and one or two supplements. And by April of the following year, I danced all night at a friend's 50th in high heeled shoes. For the last 10 years, I didn't do any sports because of the pain, um, didn't do any jogging, anything like that. I, I used to suffer so bad. And when the freedom came onto the market, um, and I heard how effective the freedom, the, the aloe, along with they can draw it in the glucosamine and the MSM would be, I swapped over. And I have to say, I'm totally, totally pain free. I've got excellent benefit out of it. I started to jog on a regular basis, uh, started to go to gym, and um, plus um, started to do a few sports as well. And I don't have the pain anymore. And I can um, walk freely without the pain. To complement this unique drink, FLP launched its MSM gel, combining the powerful penetrating capability and natural anti-inflammatories in aloe vera gel with all the benefits of MSM. This jelly can give relief to inflamed skin and aches and pains in the muscles and joints. Most of my career in veterinary practice, we've had um, MSM, and then later we had the glucosamine and the chondroitin, but for many years we've had those. And the problem with them has been that they are broken down in the digestive system of the animals before they're absorbed, so their effects haven't been that dramatic. The only way we've done it is by giving them over long periods of time, so it's accumulating. Um, but of course now, as soon as you put aloe vera in with a product like that, it increases the absorption of the intact molecule. So you're getting levels much higher and much quicker into the bloodstream than you would by using those preparations on their own. We've got a lot of competition horses. Um, my son used to compete them at things called tetrathlons, and one of them was a, a well-known point-to-pointer. And he's in his 20s, thoroughbred, got a lot of arthritis. He was on permanently phenylbutazone, bute, all the time. And we found initially by giving him the aloe, that helped him considerably. But of course now we've been giving him the freedom, and he's on no phenylbutazone at all. You can put one fluid ounce of bits and peaches in a blender, whiz it around until it's smooth and freeze it into an ice lolly. Then give your children a daily peach aloe ice lolly to help fight off coughs and colds. Keep your aloe first in the fridge and after a long day, spray it on aching feet for quick relief. Aloe Lip stops cold sores in their tracks. Apply it with your finger at the first sign of that telltale tingle. Just as Forever Living Products has harnessed nature to take care of your well-being from the inside, they've also created a range of top quality aloe-based products to look after you on the outside, from when you wake in the morning till you go to sleep at night. There is something called saponins, which again is naturally part of the uh, formulation of aloe vera, and it's a natural antiseptic, it's a natural cleanser. So when you're looking at um, the soap, for example, the tooth gel, um, the bath gel, all of those things, I've got uh, the principal ingredient being aloe, you've got a natural cleanser and you've got a natural antiseptic, so you're not adding extra uh, items into that product to, to give it the same function. Aloe liquid soap is a natural, no tears, pH balanced formula. Rich in aloe vera, it moisturises while it cleans, leaving the most sensitive skin soft, smooth and supple. Oh, I love the liquid soap. Um, I particularly use it for removing my makeup, although we have a makeup remover. It's wonderful um, because it doesn't smudge the makeup when you take it off, it just takes it off cleanly. Um, and if you use anything else, then you get these sort of polar bear eyes with the makeup all around your face. With its soothing perfume, Aloe Bath Gel A gently deep cleanses and moisturises with aloe vera gel, clematis, bladder rack, and horsetail for a luxuriously smooth skin. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It just really is lovely. It just the smell is nice. It's very natural. Um, and it's just a nice feel on your body and it just totally, totally distresses you. It's wonderful. Because of aloe vera being pH based, which means you have just the correct acid alkaline balance, you're keeping the balance of the hair. You also have the jojoba oil, which is taken from the, the bean plant. So it, it's, it's just totally natural. And the aloe vera is obviously nutritional. It's balancing. Um, the hair shaft needs to have uh, quite good levels of B5. Um, and there is a good source of B5, which is pantothenic acid, in 
the aloe vera, which is the principal ingredient in our shampoo and our conditioner. And you don't actually need to use a lot of our product. And I think um, if people have used maybe other products, they've tipped handfuls into their hand and then they put it onto their hair. If you do that with ours, actually, you get a little bit of soap residue. You need to, to rinse the hair quite thoroughly. So they're very economical as well. <laughs> Typically it's used a lot for uh, getting rid of dandruff in the animals. We get dandruff in show animals just like you do in humans. And obviously you don't want dandruff in a show dog. And it, it brings a lovely glossy coat on them, good skin quality. And so it's an excellent product to use on the animals. I listened to a lecturer, um, a dental lecturer, um, a few years ago now, and he said that our teeth and gums are like sponges. And we actually absorb everything that we put into our mouth through our teeth and gums. So again, if you're putting lots of chemicals into your mouth, then you're causing all sorts of problems. So by using our tooth gel, it's almost like brushing your teeth, it's like giving your teeth and gums a sort of a nutritional intake, if you like. Um, so it's not only got fantastic cleansing ability, um, because of the enzymes that are part of aloe vera, it has a natural whitening action without the need for putting anything sort of that's, that's chemical in to do that same action. You've got the propolis and the aloe, which helps to keep any um, mouth ulcers at bay. And one of the best things, I think, is the fact that it doesn't contain fluoride. So although that the fluoride has had this sort of strengthening effect, which is obviously what dentists have, have approved it over the years, um, but it's obviously a poison. The Americans have to put safety warnings on their toothpaste now, just like cigarette packets. Basically, whole day I feel fresh, clean and odour free. I generally have to go to the dentist every six months to go to the hygienist and I normally have to have my teeth scraped, which is not very pleasant, as I'm sure you'll agree. Um, and I have found actually in using the tooth gel that I don't have to do that very often at all. I mean, I still go to the hygienist but I don't have to have my teeth done. And um, I, had, I had bleeding gums, that was a problem I'd always had. And that's very much now, pretty much, um, I've knocked that on the head. When you brush with it, it lasts all day long. Um, usually you're wearing a teddy bear's coat by three o'clock after you've had lunch and all of this. And when you use the tooth gel, it's just nice to lick your teeth and they feel so clear. <laughs> People are surprised that we don't use it in the animals. Well, we do, because that's got the, the aloe vera and the bee propolis again. So it's very effective at killing the bacteria which cause the plaque. And we've had that used in many different um, animals now for helping with you know, gum problems and teeth problems. This long-lasting Glide-On deodorant keeps you fresh without any harmful aluminium salts. Specially formulated not to mark your clothes, Aloe Evershield moisturises your skin and leaves you feeling confident all day. When I first was introduced to the products, that was one that immediately caught my eye because I didn't understand the dangers and the connections with aluminium salts in deodorants at the time. Um, I wasn't aware of the links to, to maybe breast cancer and so on, and uh, that immediately appealed to me to find a safe product. Um, and I find it just to be so fantastic, and I would thoroughly recommend that and do so. As long ago as 40 BC, Cleopatra was using the natural moisturiser aloe vera in her beauty regime, while the world fell at her feet. FLP has created three lotions that harness the moisturising, cleansing and antimicrobial powers of aloe vera, and combine them with other natural ingredients in a range of creams to feed and replenish your skin. In addition to the naturally stabilised aloe vera gel, the yellow moisturising lotion contains apricot kernel and jojoba oil to further nourish and soften your skin. As the lignin in the aloe carries the nutrients through all the layers of the skin, the added chamomile calms and relaxes in this all over body and face lotion. Aloe lotion contains all the power of the moisturising lotion with the added benefit of lanolin. Many people believe they're allergic to lanolin and although 2% of the population are allergic to this moisturiser derived from sheep's wool, most others who show a sensitivity are usually reacting to the chemical other manufacturers use to extract it. For 98% of the population, lanolin is very valuable, helping to repair the damage of day-to-day -day life in the 21st century. Finally, in this trio, the suntan lotion, which has an SPF of 30, 
with the added protection that aloe vera, which used to be known as the Burns plant, brings with it. This waterproof suntan lotion will guard you and your family against the harmful rays of the sun, so you can enjoy the slopes, pool and beach in complete safety. You can shave with the aloe liquid soap and it moisturises while helping to prevent shaving rash. If you get a headache, massage a tiny dab of heat lotion into each of your temples and the nape of your neck for immediate relief. Before and after waxing your legs, spray them with aloe first for perfectly smooth, unmarked skin. Forever Living Products also has a complete range of top quality nutritional supplements to complete the work of the aloe vera drinking gel and address any specific deficiencies. For those who aren't sure what to take to be certain of getting a well-balanced diet, Forever Living scientists have taken the worry away by putting together the perfect combination of vitamins and minerals, which together with one of the aloe drinks will help everyone achieve optimum nutrition. The Forever Essentials were put together for a nice, simple way for people to take the little packet of vitamins and minerals to make sure that they were covering every area of their daily intake. So we called it the Forever Essentials because it is an essential list of vitamins and minerals. All in their most natural bioavailable form, the essentials are two vitamin C tablets bonded in an oat bran matrix to give slower release for maximum absorption without the use of chemicals. One A beta care capsule providing the vital vitamins A and D together with the mineral selenium that's needed to absorb the vitamin E. Two B pollen tablets, nature's richest food. Four nature min, a balance of essential minerals and one arctic sea capsule containing omega 3, 6 and 9, vital fatty acids derived from olives and oily fish. One of the most important things for people to remember with, with minerals is if we are low in minerals, then our bodies won't absorb vitamins. So they're almost like the vitamins little helpers, if you like. You know, without the minerals, the body won't absorb the vitamins. So by people being deficient in minerals, then whatever they're taking vitamin-wise um, and healthy eating-wise won't be fully absorbed. Because of all the pollution in the world today, it's very important to have the purest and safest ingredients. It combines these essential fatty acids um, which in the case of uh, Arctic Sea are derived from fish, oily fish, from the Antarctic, where they're less likely to be subjected to um, the ingestion of heavy metals, because as you probably realise now, uh, a lot of fish um, are eating over a period of time heavy metals uh, in their food and in the water in which they swim, and this is cumulative in their bodies, so that when we eat the fish, we might be getting a bit of a dose of mercury or something like that. So Forever Living uh, only takes fish from areas where this kind of pollution is non-existent, and it combines the um, two types of fatty acid from the oily fish and from olive oil. In babies' formula milk now, they're actually adding the uh, omega-3 fatty acids because they're realising that in a child's um, development while it's still in the womb if it has a deficiency in omega-3 fatty acids from the mother then they are linking it now to such things as dysle dyslexia and also dyspraxia. And there's some recent, uh, some fantastic research that they're doing with, with children who have been in um, Detention centres are having continuous problems of uh, misbehaving, if you like, and they're actually looking at their diet now and they're finding that one of the things that they are most deficient in is the omega-3 fish oils. Um, so obviously it affects the brain, it affects coordination, it affects mood, um, it's good for fighting uh, cholesterol and it's also a natural anti-inflammatory. If your nose gets bunged up and you're pregnant so you can't use a decongestant, you can put some heat lotion on a hanky or a tissue and inhale to breathe more easily. If you're really desperate, you can always just sniff the tube. To help teething babies and their mothers get a restful night, massage their gums with a little aloe vera jelly. To make sure your children get their omega-3 fish oils, 
open the capsule and massage the contents into the fine skin of their wrists. But do this at night or they'll have all the cats in the neighbourhood following them. Forever Living Products, the world's leader in aloe vera, is also the world's largest beekeeper, producing the highest quality products from the beehive that are available on the market today. With the bee products, um, firstly, um, it's where the actual uh, the beehives are. It's where they're actually situated, um, because they have to be situated away from any pollutants, any farm roads, any uh, chemicals that are being spray uh, sprayed over fields, etc. Because obviously everything that, that would be in the environment surrounding those beehives would go into that particular product. These incredible insects give us four wonderful products. Firstly, there's Forever Bee Honey, with raw jelly and pollen, totally free from pollution. Then there's raw jelly, which is superb for the skin and can really help in relieving the stress many of us suffer from today. Bee propolis, which the bees use to line their hive to protect their queen and their young from attack from bacteria and viruses, is nature's antibiotic. The inside of a beehive is more sterile than an operating theatre. And finally there's pollen, nature's most complete food. Bee pollen's our energy product. Again, with the bee pollen, it is water-soluble. So anything that's water-soluble definitely needs to be taken on a day-to-day -day basis because it's out of our system within six to eight hours. So all of the bee products and the vitamin C is flushed through our system in six to eight hours. Um, the bee pollen is excellent, I mean, because again, of its natural state, it, con it contains 96 different nutrients. It is said, for example, that human beings could live on just bee pollen, providing you took some extra fibre for your digestion, your gut, and you took water. So it's a very much a complete food. Um, but I tend to use it uh, when I want to provide people with a range of antioxidants. Now, antioxidants that fight the oxidative damage caused by free radicals, you know, that we're always reading about the pollutants in the atmosphere um, that can damage us. The antioxidants fall into three groups. The vitamin antioxidants, which are A, C and E, which of course are found in the gel. Um, the mineral antioxidants, of which the most important is selenium. And selenium is a very important antioxidant. The others are zinc and iron. But the one mineral that aloe vera does not have in it is selenium. For some reason, it doesn't seem to take up selenium. But we do have another super product called AB to care, which has got selenium and vitamin E in it. So you can take your selenium antioxidant from the a, B to care, combine it with the vitamin antioxidants from the gel and then add another important group called bioflavonoids which are bound in pollen. It's, it's brilliant, you know, research for many years has found how good it is at helping people with allergies. Both Alan and I find it absolutely fantastic at, um, you know, stopping us from getting all hay feverish. I never, ha I never go anywhere without bee pollen. I've always got it in my bag. And I think I'm a mother of three. I run this business. I'm also a maths tutor. I run a small maths uh, school. Uh, I'm a busy woman, and just having those in my bag is fantastic. Just a few, you know, two or three of those, and I'm up and off again. We take it all year round, and I think that's important because you've got a build-up then, you're desensitising yourself, you, you don't have to suddenly, suddenly start before the hay fever season. My eldest daughter is the one who goes out clubbing um, rather a lot, except she's now gone to university and is clubbing all the time, I presume, and um, she wouldn't go without the bee pollen. And um, I didn't know about it until she kept asking for more bee pollen to take out and then more bee pollen to take out. And I was asking her what she was doing with it. And she said it gave her a buzz and plenty of energy and she was selling it. The propolis is um, it's our sort of natural antibiotic. Um, and it's amazing because it's, it's got antiviral compounds and with an antibiotic that you would take that would be, you know, uh, prescribed from the doctor, uh, an antibiotic from the doctor kills all bacteria.
So it kills the bad bacteria, but it also kills the good bacteria. We actually, I think we carry something like one uh, kilogram of bacteria in our gut. So we've got a lot of bacteria there, but we do need to keep the good bacteria, the friendly flora, as they call it. So by taking propolis, you're keeping your immune system very strong. The propolis will kill the bad bacteria, but it doesn't destroy the good bacteria. And that is just so important because so many people now suffer with candida and thrush through taking... Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that sometimes there is a need to take antibiotics, but if you were taking propolis on a day-to-day -day basis, say just taking one a day, then you're keeping your system so strong, keeping your immune system so strong, uh, you're keeping that bad bacteria at bay, and the friendly bacteria is rife because the propolis keeping, is keeping it so, and digestive system and everything would just be so much healthier. I take two every day as a preventative because I work with children and they tend to be an infectious little brood so you're always picking things up from them and by taking two every day that makes sure that I don't pick up any of the bugs that they're carrying. There's two of them that we use um, quite a lot of. Uh, one's the bee pollen tablets, um, which in the animals we tend to use for allergic conditions. It may be skin allergies or respiratory allergies, and we find that if you put them on these tablets, you can actually decrease uh, the allergy problem. The other area are the bee propolis tablet that acts as a natural antimicrobial agent against certain bacteria, viruses, fungi and yeast, as I said earlier. So we can actually use that um, where, say, we wanted to long cover it's very safe to use that actual product for long periods of time where you couldn't really do that with certain antibiotics. They're often with antibiotics you get a short, sharp course. We don't like to keep using them because the bacterial viruses can get resistant to them. Forever Living products have harnessed the remarkable power of both the aloe vera plant and bee propolis then combine them with other natural substances to create three products that repair, soothe and protect your skin. If you put aloe on a, let's, say, let's take a, an open skin wound, the first thing that it will help to do is to keep it infection free. The saponins play a part in that. It will secondly help to digest, if I can use that term, the, the sort of dead tissue. So it's a cleansing agent. And then, finally, it stimulates the healing process and it increases the replication of certain little cells, amongst other things, called fibroblasts. And the fibroblasts make fibre, and of course it's the fibre laid down which pulls the wound together and over which the skin cells can grow. It's very good for cuts, for bites, for stings. It speeds up the healing. Um, antiseptic, antibiotic, I mean it's got amazing qualities. You can swallow it if you have a sore throat. I mean it's just, it just goes on and on. I mean I can only say that it's probably one of the best first aid products that you can possibly find. You know that if you get insect bites, if you get sunburn, if you get a rash of any sort, um, you've got the jelly. Um, when we went on the sailing holiday, there were 12 of us on the flotilla, and ours became known as the medicine boat, because if any, anyone fell or got bitten, um, the, the, the jelly did the rounds. The jelly and the aloe first did the rounds. Because we breed horses at home, we've got a stallion, and normally I do most, most of the handling. On this occasion, my wife decided to go down and just with a rope, put it onto the head collar. Of course, he reared up, and the buckle caught into her small of her hand here and ripped out a big piece of flesh um, and like all the animals and humans at my home as soon as we get a problem like that it's flushed out with aloe veterinary formula and then aloe jelly's packed into it and uh, when you do that you get tremendous healing as in her case. Just to trial it I've asked women to use it um, on their caesarean wounds um, and perineal wounds and the report is that they they heal better and um, with tiny scars, if none at all, for some of them. Well, the horses are always getting injuries. 
barbed wire injuries, overreach injuries, all sorts of uh, cuts and trauma, road traffic accidents. Large areas of uh, skin were being damaged. And we didn't have many products uh, on the veterinary side which could actually help these areas to heal. And one of the things that I found through reading about the aloe was it was supposed to increase healing. And when I started using it, I found that these wounds would heal about a third quicker than normal uh, when you actually used aloe vera on them as opposed to using the normal preps. It's because it's got natural antimicrobial properties, it kills off a lot of the secondary infection which get into a, into a wound. And we know from all the research which has been done on wounds that if you can get in there early and clean them out well with a, a solution which is pretty well isotonic, you can actually stop the germs from multiplying for about six hours. They call it the golden period. And we found by using solutions of aloe vera, particularly like veterinary formula, aloe veterinary formula, and you perfuse the wound with that, you can wash out a lot of these germs, you can stop them multiplying, but also the aloe naturally encourages the epithelial cells to actually get that wound to heal quicker. One of the best known properties of aloe vera is healing burns. There were about um, 14 cattle, a rare breed centre down near Canterbury in Kent, and there was an arson attack, and they got horrendously, horrendously burnt. Um, I went down to have a look at them because the vets weren't really sure what to do with them. Some of them were so badly burnt and suffering so badly that we, two of them we did put down, but the others we treated. And two of them we brought them back onto my farm um, down in Somerset. And we treated them both internally by putting the gel in the drinking water. They were chewing the cud or ruminating within four days. And they only do that when they're happy and content. And we also applied the aloe topically, particularly vet formula jellies and some of the lotions. Often put them in garden sprays and pumping it onto their backs because it's such a huge area. And then you could just see them really enjoying it as you were rubbing it into their backs. Because we, what we had to do is you had so much skin which was burnt, it had to come away because it was dead. The skin was dead. And aloe is wonderful at lifting off and getting rid of this dead skin and burnt skin. And then, of course, armed and underneath that, it's healing already, starting to heal because the aloe is getting into it. The propolis cream, uh, you've got, again, a high level of aloe vera. Um, then you've got uh, propolis, which is the natural antibiotic. It's very good for, um, you know, eczemas, uh, psoriasis, because of the, the healing that the aloe provides. If people have got um, an infection in a cut or a wound, uh, maybe like a pustular acne when there's a lot of infection there, um, again, the propolis can be used for that. If you look at childhood eczema, which we call atopic eczema, very, very common and getting more common, you will find children with basically an underlying dry skin. This then erupts, usually in the folds of the body, so they get it in the elbows, behind the knees, the crease of the buttocks or in the crease of the neck. And it's very itchy and the children will scratch and scratch and scratch. And like most children, they often have dirty fingernails, so they introduce infection into the damaged skin. And this will cause the eczema to spread wildly and very fast. So you want to try and reduce the itching. So if we look at aloe propolis cream, first of all, it's got a wonderful moisturiser as a base. And this moisturiser is known to everybody. It's called lanolin. You've then got the natural anti-inflammatory properties of aloe vera gel which we've talked about. So you can reduce that inflammation, you can reduce the redness, and also within aloe vera is a natural antihistamine, if you like. So we can reduce the itching. That means the children won't scratch so much. But if they do, and they infect it, we have got propolis, this marvellous, if you can call it antibiotic, from the beehive which will help to counter any infection. I always, if I can, recommend that people drink it as well because you're feeding the skin from the inside. And you've got to remember that our skin is changing all the time. Um, usually, uh, it takes about 21 to 28 days for normal skin to turn over. If you've got psoriasis or something like that, it's actually faster. So let's give these growing skin cells at the base of the skin, or the base of the epidermis, all the nutrients that they need to be healthy. And then as they rise to the surface, although they're dying as they come to the surface, um, you can see that effect in about four weeks plus. Several years ago, I was suffering very badly from eczema mm -hmm. on my hands and my feet. In fact, I remember it being so bad on my hands, the skin was just so 
raw and broken that I couldn't do and I can I remember not being able to do up the buttons on my coat for example and I had to wear cotton gloves on my head sort of around the house when it was at its worst and nothing was working I had I was slapping on steroid creams and even they weren't doing anything I just was at my wits end and when William was born, um, William had terrible skin and we referred to a specialist because they, they didn't know what was wrong with him and kept me in hospital for a, for a couple of days. It was scarlet red, scarlet red and he had sort of pimples on his cheeks um, and his eyes were closed, you know, his, his face was so swollen he didn't open his eyes for two days, it was awful. Um, and he was not just on his face but all over, he had sort of a rash, little spots and it was, he was very distressed by it all. You know, and every time I fed him and held him, it made it worse, it made it red, more red, and it was awful. I've had psoriasis since I was about 15, uh, which is about 11 years, off and on. Uh, sometimes worse than others. Mostly on my knees and elbows was the main place until that flared up on my hands and my arms. I just couldn't do nothing, really. I mean, silly things like pick up a cup, make a cup of tea, anything like that. I just couldn't use my fingers, didn't have a lot of grip in my hands, um, and just looked really hard. I didn't grow out at all because people looked at me as if I had some disease or something, you know. I thought, how odd, I'm drinking something for my skin, but hey, I don't care, I'm desperate, I'm willing to try anything, any light at the end of the tunnels. But I was felt, felt down, um, very isolated and generally just fed up. I mean, you know, you can't, can't do any, couldn't do much at home, didn't obviously go to work. Probably after a few weeks, maybe about a month, I realised that something was happening. The itching was getting less. My skin did was starting to heal. And I realised something was happening because of this drink. And also, I should add that he asked me to try the propolis cream as well, as that I could slap as much of that on as I wanted. No side effects, no worries. So... I did use the two in combination and after a good couple of months my skin had started to heal and I was for the first time for for maybe 10 12 years I I felt hopeful that I could do something about this horrible condition aloe vera drink which was one in the morning and one at night it was a little cup and how much is in them is it 25 mil I think in the morning and the night and to put on the popular cream as and when needed, when it itched or when it was cracked and sore, so I could put it on nearly all day if I wanted to. And I just thought, let me get home, put the propolis on it, because I know what to put on it. And I did. And, you know, within three days, when I was supposed to go back and see the specialist, I cancelled the appointment. First saw an improvement, I would say, about three weeks after starting the treatment. It was... Um, the swelling had gone down in my fingers. The skin was still dry and, and cracked, but it wasn't as sore. Um, and was generally more pliable, like I bend my fingers, they weren't so stiff and rigid. Um, and it did, you know, just start to, to disappear in places. I looked down and my hands were unrecognisable, almost. And I think, how can people imagine that my... No, she doesn't really suffer from eczema, you know, you can't see it, but they are like new hands. My hands, as you can see, are completely healed, obviously a bit scarred. Um, obviously I can bend them, move them, do what I want, back to normal, really. Um, I've had no reoccurrence of anywhere where it's come up. So I'm pleased. At the end of the day, it's a lot better than what the doctors could do for me at the end of the day. This is just an introduction to some of our exceptional products. To learn more, book a place on the next product training near to you. Then to get further in-depth understanding of what these unique products can do for you and your customers, reserve a place on the specialist training given by each of the advisory board members at Longbridge Manor. Ask the person who introduced you to FLP and they'll tell you how to book so you can take full advantage of all Forever Living products have to offer. I can go out now, do what I want. Uh, I don't feel so, I don't know if it's shame is the right word, but I don't feel so... And that people are looking at me for that reason, obviously people look at you anyway, but not because I've got something wrong with me, you know. Um, so I feel sort of free, I suppose. I feel fantastic, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, I, that has changed my life. Enjoy using FLP's remarkable natural products and begin to feel your health, energy and well-being improving every day. Let nature's gifts from the beehive 
and the aloe vera plant, brought to you in their purest form by Forever Living Products, put back all that modern life takes out, helping your body help itself to optimum nutrition. Don't just feel good, feel great with Forever Living Products. <laughs>